Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Neha Tanita, your mentor and guide for PSM, but a public health specialist by profession. So guys, today I've come up with a very important topic, which is Employee State Insurance Act or the ESI Act. This question is very important for all our examinations, be it NEET PG, be it INICT, be it uh, any of it, FMG. So I'll try to make you understand this topic with the help of MCQs. So look at the first MCQ. Which of the following is not a benefit under the scheme represented by the logo? All right, so this is the logo of Employee State Insurance Corporation. And I've given you a list of benefits. So this is one of the most commonly asked MCQ. But before we solve this MCQ, let us try to do some of the questions, I mean some of the golden points on ESI Act. Subse pehla question. This ESI Act is for was launched which year everyone? 1948. Next MCQ that they ask is that it covers all factories excluding. So ESI Act covers all factories. Okay. It covers all factories excluding. What does it exclude? So excluding, it does not cover railways, it does not cover defense and it does not cover mines. Okay. The next point is that rest, it is covering everything, all the hotels, newspaper establishments, restaurants, anything you name it, it covers. But all factories, Mostly it covers excluding railways, defense and mines. This is very, very important MC, uh, MCQ that can come. Then is it running in all the states? So it covers all states, okay? All states except a few states. What are those except? It does not cover Manipur, except Manipur, except Sikkim, all right, except Mizoram. Okay, earlier it was not covering JNK, but now 17 districts of Jammu and Kashmir, JNK are included. Okay, earlier it was not covering, but now 17 districts of JNK have also been included. Next, the third point which comes is, who is eligible under the CSI Act? So, corn a CSI Act ka, uh, advantages or can become the beneficiaries, which is given, can become the beneficiaries of this Act. So, who are the beneficiaries? All those, okay? So, it covers what? It covers all the employees, all right? It covers all employees who are getting an income up to who are getting an income up to how much? Income up to rupees 21,000 per month. Okay. So it covers all the employees who are getting an income up to rupees 21,000 per month. But here again, there is a small exception which we've made. All those people who are disabled, okay? So, it covers all employees who are disabled, okay? It can cover, I mean, for disabled people, okay? It covers all disabled employees uh, up to or even if they are getting an income up to, income up to. 2 rupees 25,000 per month. Okay. So, this is an exception that we've made. It is going to cover all in employees who get income up to rupees 21,000. But in cases of disabled employees, here we can write in cases of disabled, anyone who's disabled, even if they earn an income up to rupees 25,000 per month, they will be covered under ESI Act. Next, the most important MCQ that comes is what is the employer's contribution under ESI Act and what is the employee's contribution? So, when we talk about the employer's contribution, everyone, how much is the employer's contribution under the ESI Act? It is 3.25%. All right. And what is the employee contribution? The employee contribution under the ESI Act is 0.75%. This is very, very important. 
एम्प्लॉयर का कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन थ्री पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंट है एम्प्लॉय का कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव परसेंट है अगेन एनी एम्प्लॉय हु लेस दैन रुपीज हंड्रेड पर डे इज नॉट सपोज टू मेक एनी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑल दीज आर एम सी क्यू बेस्ड क्वेश्चन ऑल राइट इवन इफ द यूनिवर्सिटी स्टूडेंट्स आर अटेम्प्टिंग दे कैन राइट ऑल दीज पॉइंट इन द यूनिवर्सिटी क्वेश्चन ऑन ई एस आई एक्ट then everyone we have <clears throat> the state and central government they share medical expenditure in what ratio so the state and central government okay state and central government they share the medical expenditure in the ratio of they share the medical expenditure all right in the ratio of 1 is to 7 okay 1 is to 7 1 by 8th part is the expenses borne by the state and 7 8th is borne by the center so these are some of the important golden points theek hai isko hum kya bolenge they are the golden points now coming to next part which is back to the def back to the mcq the benefits all right sabse zyada ye question aata hai the various benefits offered so what is medical benefit the first benefit which you can say medical benefit over here is what i'll do is i'll write it here okay let's start the first one is medical benefit medical benefit kya hota hai medical benefit is to our esi employees we provide full medical care all right full medical care is provided to all our employees okay who are eligible under the esi act another question which of the benefits are cashless benefit so medical benefit is a cashless benefit everybody okay full medical care is provided and it's a cashless benefit next one what do we have next one a very important benefit which is sickness benefit so sickness benefit is provided for a days of how many days it is provided for 91 days at 70% of average daily wages theek hai 70% of average daily wages and this has to be taken in any continuous period of 365 days it's not like i can take 20 days today and another 20 days later no in any continuous period i'll have to take for 91 days fir kya aata hai extended sickness benefit theek hai extended sickness benefit now what is extended sickness benefit so this is extended <coughs> this is provided for 2 years all right at 80% of average daily wages so there are a list of 34 diseases okay there are a list of 34 diseases for which we can get extended sickness benefit one of the most common disease which is asked in our questions is tuberculosis okay a person was suffering from tb is eligible under esi scheme for which benefit extended sickness benefit other than extended sickness benefit we have a few more benefits enhanced sickness benefit okay this is very important enhanced sickness benefit so enhanced sickness benefit is given for vasectomy theek hai in cases of vasectomy and tubectomy so for vasectomy the enhanced sickness benefit is given for 7 days for all those male employees who agree to get a vasectomy done they will get a, a benefit for 7 days at full wages okay at full wages and they are also going to at full average daily wage aapne hamesha yahi bolna hai full average daily wage for 7 days all right they are going to get up to 7 days and in case of tubectomy they are going to get up to the females are going to get up to 14 days at full average daily wage all right these are all the sickness benefit other than these benefit guys let us write over here we have a few more benefit very very important one is our um 
maternity benefit okay so the maternity benefit is provided for how many days so the maternity benefit everyone is provided now at 26 way uh, 26 weeks at full daily wages okay so we are going to get um, it is provided at full average daily wage not at 70 80% or something at full average daily wages okay then if some lady undergoes an mtp or a spontaneous abortion theek hai medical termination ya spontaneous abortion she is going to get a benefit of 6 weeks theek hai or we can say 42 days again at full average daily wages okay this is the most important thing at full average daily wages other than this if someone undergoes some preg um, some disease due to pregnancy jaise kisi को पीआईएच हो जाता है ऑल राइट और सम फॉर्म ऑफ इक्लैम्पिया ओके सो पीआईएच प्रेगनेंसी इंड्यूस्ड इलनेस वी कैन से दिस एज pregnancy induced illness so for pregnancy induced illness for how many days the leaves is given up at least for four weeks at full average daily wage theek hai at full average daily wage these are some of the most important benefit let us see others so medical benefit yes given what is dependent benefit this is pension okay so pension is given at 90% of average daily wages funeral benefit yes given rupees 15000 okay it is given rupees 15000 there is nothing like nutritional benefit please remember under esi scheme we don't give anything which is called as a nutritional benefit other than this we are also giving two more benefits disablement benefit if some employee okay so this you can say sixth one over here if some employee gets temporary disabled okay temporary disabled so till the person recovers he will be on leave at 90% of average daily wage okay at 90% of average daily wage and in case it is permanent disablement okay in case it is permanent disablement fir at what percent still 90% lifelong this is the minimum but depending on the medical board this could also be increased to 95 or 100% are you clear so let's repeat all the benefits first is the medical benefit full medical care is provided it's a cashless benefit which is given sickness benefit is given for 91 days at 70% of average daily wages extended sickness benefit everyone is given for 2 years at 80% of average daily wages for 34 diseases out of this we are also talking about tuberculosis most of the mcqs come from this fit and hand sickness benefit is given in for vasectomy tubectomy vasectomy for 7 days at full average daily wages and tubectomy up to 14 days at full average daily wages maternity benefit for 26 weeks full average daily wages mtp spontaneous abortion 6 weeks or 42 days at full average daily wages for pregnancy induced illness 4 weeks at full average daily wages other than that pension is given at 90% average daily wages which is dependents benefit funeral benefit is rupees 15000 and we have temporary and permanent disablement benefit which is given at 90% of average daily wage permanent benefit can be given for more depending on the medical board nutritional benefit is not a part of this okay then some other mcqs which ministry covers esi corporation of india is it home affairs health and family welfare labor women and child development so it is ministry of labor which covers esi corporation of india this is the logo i have already shown you some mcq so you have to tell me true and false okay are the funeral charges up to rupees 50000 no false they are up to rupees 15000
State government share is one eighth. Absolutely correct. Center is seven eighth. Absolutely correct. ठीक है. Employee contribution is eight point seven. Suppose this is employer. No, an employee so much. It is false. How much is the employer contribution, guys? Employer contribution होता है three point two five percent. And employee, ठीक है. Employee का contribution होता है point seven five percent. maximum limit for each family member is so much no this is also false all right here the maximum limit is rupees 21000 that a person is eligible for if he is earning 21000 per month for a disabled person it is 25000 okay another question regarding esi all are correct except so is abhyan indradhanush under esi scheme Yes. Okay. What is Abhyan Indradhanush? The bed sheets of ESI hospital are changed according to the colors of the rainbow. All right. So this is true. Full wage compensation paid for vasectomy and tubectomy. True. If somebody agrees to go vasectomy and tubectomy, they'll get a leave of seven days and fourteen days at full wages. Okay. Central government also contributes twelve point five percent. No. This is the one which is false. Central government ka contribution kitna hai? Seven eight. So it will more be more than twelve point five. Almost eighty five percent. state government is contributing 18 okay that will be around 12.5 is that clear okay this will be around 87 some percent okay applicable for all workers with salary up to 21000 absolutely true okay so these are some of the questions that could be asked one more thing look this is the abhyan indradhanush this is the logo which you have to remember rainbow hai or hospital bed hai okay so change of bed sheet according to vibgyor pattern to give more emphasis on hygiene and cleanliness in the hospital this is also under esi corporation one more question guys a family dispensary unit under esi act is open for how many number of insured family units so this is open for 1000 number of insured family units you can have a look over here all right one doctor dispensary in areas with 1000 or more insured person family units two in areas with 3000 Three doctor dispensary in areas with five thousand and five doctor dispensary in areas with ten thousand insured person family unit. This could also come as an MCQ. All right. So this was all about ESI Act. A short session, but I hope you understood what I was trying to tell you. Please remember about the benefits. Remember about the employer employees contribution, and also remember about the ministry. Remember about. Um, who is eligible these are the most expected questions so if you've liked the video do like comment and subscribe also share with your friends uh, so that they can also attend uh, these short sessions all right and i will see you again guys i go live on an academy every morning at 9 am and 12 pm so accordingly you can attend my free classes on an academy thank you so much for watching have a very good day please be safe health is our priority